Something big is gonna happen. I can feel it. Maybe lay off the wobbly pops? Yeah maybe. Ever since they said you can publicly drink in a swashbuckler pint glass to make up for the whole COVID thing, I've been on a bender, son. <laughs> Did I just see a freaking alligator spaceship piss out a shrimp crab and chicken? In a boat at that, what's the move should I tail them? Yeah, follow them while I go grab the camera. I'll call Polly in the sky for the bird's eye view watching you. You said you could feel it Harry Benderson. I told you your time was coming. Eat it up guys. We interrupt your mini tease of Attack of the Foodies, victims of the sauce to bring you this breaking news. Good evening folks I'm Nutmeg for Stereotypical Stereotype News Co bringing you late breaking news. Yesterday a bunch of amazing people got together to join the Caps for Kids fundraiser for Caleb Lavalin. An impromptu let's do something for others event that had great success. The one day total between 12 donors was $290 plus Sippy Cup Libations Co is donating money for shipping. 38 hats and 18 kids shirts will be specially made and sent to St. Jude's in hopes to brighten the kids day when they need it the most. Let's head over to Dave Kimball who is at Sippy Cup Central to give away a prize to one of the people who donated. Dave can you hear me? Are you there? Take it away you sexy son of a- Hey thanks Nutmeg, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take all of the names of the people, put them in this randomized prize wheel and whoever it picks, I'm gonna send out a mystery Boom Boom in the Toon Lagoon tumbler featuring a one of one t-shirt. So let's just see what you might get. Here's a little sample. So first of all, this one has a swashbuckler air freshener in it and a coaster, but I couldn't fit it in there. Then the shirts. This one got a pork and melon head, the one of one black. And also inside, Boom Boom in the Toon Lagoon koozie. There is a gator bait mask in this one. A stereotypical stereotype show patch. Gator baked rolling papers. If you don't smoke, I guess it's a good collectible. Bunch of holographic stickers. Swashbuckler and gator baits. Plus the Goldie Astrofish. 4th of July one, and a gator bait lapel pin that glows in the dark. And this is the tumbler, it's got a waterproof glow in the dark uh, 4th of July Boom Boom and the Toon Lagoon logo on it, and it's color changing with the liquid temperature. So all the names are in the randomizer, and let's see who won. Good yeah, luck to everybody. And the and winner is... Matt Houston! Houston. Congratulations, Congratulations Matt. Matt! You even said, don't even include me in it. But guess what? The universe wanted you to win, man. Good stuff. That is a great wholesome story. Dave also wanted me to mention anyone else who donated and didn't win to contact him for a $5 off code towards your next purchase. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program. Eat it up guys. This pretty lady bought Hawaiian pizza for the whole bar. Loads of pineapples and ham plus she added bacon and sausage. Oh wow thanks that's so chill of you. Pork and party at the buffet. It's no problem really. My boss gave me a wad of cash and said go hit sippy cup for an hour. Sick. Ratty mitts let's line up some shots and get this party started. Gotta love Mondays. Nobody sees anything wrong with this. Any chance there's a veggie pie around here?
All he said was hide it and make sure it didn't eat pineapples. Diving deep. Islands living among us, Goldie Astrofish's scales have the strongest concentration of poikonopil that we have ever recorded. I'll get to the bottom of it. This is the pineapple. 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 Why haven't you located Ride Melon Walker and the Spamville Norian yet?